What's up, everybody? Here again, talking about survivor picks in week three. Hopefully, you did well with your picks in week three, taking my advice with the Rams and, you know, avoiding that terrible late game comeback by the Jets to beat the Browns, which I'm sure knocked a lot of people out of your survivor leagues. But before we get into the games for week three, which I think is going to be really tough, if you're enjoying these videos and I'm helping you out a little bit, help me out a little bit, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me, let me know in the comment sections, either one, your appreciation, which you guys have been doing a great job, but also your questions and any um, advice you may need for your survivor leagues. Always happy to help out and provide a little insight, in my opinion, to your situations. Looking at, you know, the top seven teams here in week three, very, uh, you know, close week, especially in the bottom end. Uh, a lot of teams this week vary by only like three or four points, which means, you know, very close games. Two teams stand out for me this week, and that's the Chargers and the Vikings. You know, the two teams here that are favored by more than a touchdown. Also two home teams. You know, Bengals favored by a good amount here, but this is a similar situation they found themselves in last year, earlier on in the season, on the road against the Jets where they lost last year. So something to keep in mind there. And if you watched these videos before, you know there's two things I don't like picking, and that's road teams and games against divisional opponents, something I'm always a little bit wary of. Taking a look at the schedule preview, again, I mentioned those two teams that I thought jumped out were the Chargers and the Vikings. A um, little, two, little two different uh, schedules here moving forward. The Chargers, on one hand, have a lot of different situations, I think, later in the year, and especially in the upcoming weeks where you could pick them for Survivor, whereas the Vikings, um, not many games this year. I think you're really going to take them too much more often. I think they like their matchup against the Bears at home and also the Jets much later in the year. But other than that, nothing that really stands out in me. This is a one rare opportunity where it might be good to take the Giants if you're feeling like you want to roll the dice here, um, whether playing Dallas at home without Dak Prescott, um, but still a risky play as the spread implies. Uh, something to keep, keep an eye on. Um, talk about a few teams I heavily suggest you proceed with caution and think heavily about picking these guys. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the Chiefs. Um, granted, you might look at this game and say, I, I was paying on picking the Chiefs this year or this week. Um, you know, they're playing a Colts team that hasn't won a game yet and has looked flat out terrible and just got shut out against Jacksonville. And those are all good points, but this has the makings of, you know, a letdown game for the Chiefs where they're coming off a big win against a divisional opponent with the Chargers. Very good win for them. And, you know, a come up game for the Colts where these guys have not won a game yet for two weeks against two subpar opponents, it's time for them to step up and start, you know, playing real football. And I think this might be the, the week the Colts start to step into high gear. The Colts are one of those teams that seem to play down to the competition, just as you've seen the last couple of weeks, but also play up. So I expect them to, you know, compete with the Chiefs here. And again, really look for a win at home, first home game of the year, um, as you're looking to, you know, get a number one in the W column here. Um, I'm wary of the Chiefs this game because, again, on the road, and I don't love that, but I think the Colts here are due for a game where they start to figure out a little bit more. Not saying the Colts necessarily are going to win this game, but something, you know, makes me feel uneasy about this game. I think it's a little less safe than people think picking the Chiefs here. So definitely something to, to think twice about. And the next two ones, if you've watched my videos at all, won't surprise you. Um, the Bills here, and I'll just skip ahead and say the Rams as well. Reason being is these are two teams that are on the road playing divisional opponents. I will very rarely, if ever, suggest a road team playing a divisional opponent for a survivor pick, something that you should always be avoiding unless your back is completely up against the wall or it's just a far and away clearly the best choice. Um, so in this situation, these teams are only favored by four and four and a half points here. Um, not really all that much in terms of a spread and favorite of what we've seen this year. The Bills, um, you know, playing the 2-0 Dolphins here. Dolphins have looked really good in the first two weeks. I'm surprised they're 2-0, frankly, um, again, especially after their huge fourth quarter comeback against the Ravens. But definitely not a spot you want to be picking the Bills in, especially considering that they're going to be favored by plenty of points, far more than four and a half for the majority of the games the rest of the season. Definitely not the situation you want to be taking the Bills in the same token as the Rams, they're only favored by four points on the road against Arizona. Rams have definitely not looked like the Super Bowl champion Rams we were used to seeing. They've looked slow. They let teams like the Falcons hang around in week two and almost make a fourth quarter comeback. They got blown out by the Bills. There's not a lot that I've seen by the Rams that I've loved this season. So I think it'd be foolish to take them against the road divisional opponent against the Cardinals, who... Um, are usually stronger in the beginning of the season when they're healthy, and so, so is Kyler. Um, 
And then, you know, a, a good win against uh, a pretty solid Raiders team in Las Vegas here. Look for the Cardinals to keep that momentum going. I'm pretty nervous about the Rams this week. And just honestly, the Rams this entire season, they have not looked as good as I thought they would. But if you were like me and picked the Rams in week two, you don't have to worry about them for the rest of the year. Uh, they use them. You got another week pass, and you can kind of keep them out of your mind, which might be good with the way they've been playing football this year. The best pick and the pick that I will be taking this week um, are the Los Angeles Chargers. You know, the best pick is usually the team that is favored by the most points, and this situation is no different, although it, it can it can vary. Uh, the reason being is there are so many different aspects about this game that I love and lends itself uh, for a good Chargers win and a good survivor pick. First and foremost, this is a team that's playing at home in, against a non-divisional opponent. That is music to my ears. Every time I see the yes for the home team, no divisional game, love that right off the bat. This is a Chargers team coming off a loss. It's another thing that I think is very big in Survivor. Um, if you don't think that uh, it matters, it most certainly does. While there's a ton of numbers and data to back up football games, then they, at the end of the day, these are human beings with emotions. Um, this is a team that has high expectations for the playoffs this year, coming off a loss against a divisional opponent, long week, another thing that matters in Survivor and football in general, um, to prepare for the Jaguars. These guys need to keep winning games and beat teams they should beat, like the Jaguars, if they're want, going to want to compete for this division title. I think this is a perfect spot to be picking the Chargers. Although they do have a lot of games the rest of the season, I could see you picking them. Given how close and tight I think this week is going to be, I think the Chargers are a must pick this week and by far the best pick. Then the best value pick here are in the Vikings at home against the Lions. I do not like picking teams that are playing divisional opponents. At the very least, it's, it helps that the Vikings are at home here. But that being said, the Lions have impressed me, especially on offense the first two weeks. Um, hung around with the Eagles in week one and then one in week two. It's the defense that really lets the Lions down. Um, don't have to get into that too much, but uh, I like the Vikings here. They have a really solid offense, but their defense will leave them susceptible to teams like Lions for winning. Um, you look at the schedule here, they'll pull up soon. There's not a ton of spots in the future you're going to want to be picking the Vikings um, as a team, so this is a good spot for them for a value pick. I just don't like that they're playing a the divisional opponent, the Lions, especially a team that whose offense have looked – really solid, uh, as, as good as it has in Detroit. So something to consider. But again, you're looking at the schedule. You're thinking about maybe picking the Vikings this week over the Chargers. I wouldn't blame you because you see the Vikings. Maybe you're picking them against the Bears at home, the Jets, if you make it to week 13. Otherwise, you're not really touching the Vikings. For the Chargers, on the other hand, they have plenty of other games in the season. I think you could pick them, especially given the fact that Justin Herbert, um, you know, took a big shot on the ribs and Thursday night football against the Chiefs. Might make you a little bit more wary to pick them, and that lends itself to picking the Vikings. But that being said, I think that the best pick is the Chargers, and a pretty good value pick is the Vikings. This week, I'm taking the Chargers. Um, if Justin Herbert is healthy and playing, it's definitely something to monitor. But if he's on that field, there is no doubt in my mind the Chargers are winning this football game, and I think it'd be a great pick um, in week three. And week, I think there's going to be a, a lot of upsets. I wouldn't be surprised if in these bottom – you know, four or five teams, that being the Jets, Dolphins, Cardinals, Colts, and Cowboys, there are going to be some upsets there. There's going to be a lot of people in your leagues that get bounced. You're going to want to take the safest place, safest play this week, and that is the Los Angeles Chargers at home, coming off a loss, coming off a long week against a non-divisional opponent. Perfect situation to take these guys, and I hope you follow my advice and hope you Chargers win, and I see you all again in week four of Survivor.